Hopeful said to Christian, tell me, how would you describe right fear? Christian said, oh, right fear discovers three things. First of all, when it rises in a heart, it is caused by conviction of sin. Secondly, when it rises in the heart, it drives the soul to Jesus Christ and to lay hold on his salvation. And thirdly, when it rises, godly fear stays in the soul with a great reverence for God and his word and keeping God's way and being tender and being afraid to turn back or to turn to the left or turn to the right and dishonor God. Well, so I was hopeful, I think you're right. Now we're almost through the enchanted ground that would uh, lead us astray and cause us so much trouble. But let's keep talking. Consider furthermore fear. Well, I remember a man about 10 years ago who stayed in your area just for a short while. He was very forward in religion. Ah, yes, said Hopeful. I know him. He dwelt in Graceless. It wasn't two miles from the town I lived in, Honesty, and he, ne he lived next door to a man called Turnback. That's right, he lived under the same roof as Turnback, said Christian. Well, this man was once awakened, and he had some sight of his sins. He told me once, said Christian, he was resolved to go on a pilgrimage, and then all of a sudden he became acquainted with self-save and he became a stranger to me. He didn't want to know me. And then he, he went back. Now, why did he turn back? Well, says Hopeful, I think there were four things. First, though his conscience was awakened, their minds were changed. The power of guilt that provoked them to be religious was naturally their own. And after a little while, the fear of judgment, well, it subsided. And the thought of salvation cooled in their minds. And the desires for heaven and happiness died. And they returned to their old life. Another reason is that while they started well, their slavish fears mastered them and though they seemed hot for heaven they were only hot for heaven as long as the flames of hell burned round their feet then they started to think again and they thought to themselves it's not good to run maybe I'm overdoing it and let's not bring myself into unnecessary trouble Thirdly, they couldn't cope with the shame that attends religion. They couldn't cope with the mocking. They were proud. And religion in their, lie, in their eyes became low and contemptible. They lost their sense of hell and wrath to come. And so they turned back. And lastly, guilt. They didn't like it and to mediate terror was grievous to them. They did not like to see their misery and before they came into it, and before they saw it coming, they flew from it and they sought a different kind of safety. They shunned thoughts of guilt and terror and they got rid of their awakened hearts and the terrors of the wrath of God and they hardened their hearts and they chose ways that hardened them even more and more. Well, we're back hiding from the rain. In his description of the pilgrim's journey, John Bunyan uh, considers the whole question of godly fear. What is it? And where does godly fear truly lead us? 
and so he speaks about how godly fear leads us to Jesus Christ ultimately. Uh, godly fear leads us to faith and to repentance and to a consistent life and to hope and salvation. And then they consider for a little while what ungodly fear leads to, because there are lots of people. And suddenly they, they become very aware that there's a God and there's a judgment and they become very fearful. But it's just a fear of hell. It's just a fear of judgment. And that soon clears. It's not a fear that leads to faith and joy and grace. It's just a fear that leads to desperation and misery. And so it soon clears. And we see that in people, that some people suddenly become very religious and they realize that they're heading towards God's judgment. But after a while, that clears and they uh, they just continue back on their old life they suppress any thoughts of judgment well as Christians we know exactly what he means and the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and godly fear leads us to Jesus Christ and to faith and that as we come to Christ and to faith fear is dealt with and we are free and we have a great joy well, from me and my little friend, hiding in the rain on this very nasty wet day, God bless you.